Everyone who fights David Price fancies their chances. <laughs> whether it's a journeyman, whether it's a contender, a has-been, a British level guy, an area level, whoever it is that steps in with David Price, they all fancy their chances. Because although he can punch, although he was an Olympian, he's very fragile. We all know this. Chinny and his stamina ain't the best either. In fact, some people would say his stamina is actually far worse than his punch resistance. Be that as it may, the latest individual to get a chance to score a spectacular knockout over David Price is none other than Tom Little. He posted the fight poster up on his Twitter account. As you can see, he says here, first of all, big thanks to Eddie Hearn for keeping his word. You won't regret it. I promise a great explosive fight. And to David Price, good luck, my friend. Train hard, made a best man win. Your mate before and after, no matter what. But until then, it's war. Let's give the fans one explosion, I guess that is. <laughs> so there you go. That's going to be on the undercard of White Chisora 2 on December 22nd. And I like these heavyweight bills. I've said before that even a low-level heavyweight fight, which a lot of people would say this is in terms of the caliber of the fighters, even a low-level heavyweight fight, if you've got at least one guy in there who can really crack and at least one guy in there who's vulnerable, then, and, and both guys are coming to win, you're almost guaranteed fireworks. So let's see what happens here. Obviously, David Price has got the pedigree as an amateur to be taking care of people like Tom Little. But Tom Little, not really a big puncher, but does he have to be to wear David Price down and take him out? Tom Little does have a decent chin, I'll say that. Daniel Dubois eventually got to him, but that was more with body shots. And obviously he fought Hergovic and he was stopped by that. Look, Tom Little's lost a bunch of fights, but he's relatively durable. His punch resistance is fairly decent. I'm not saying he's iron jawed, but it's fairly decent. So he's going to fancy his chances, as I say, and he's going to really go for it. <laughs> I remember when David Price fought Christian Hammer. And Hammer wasn't in good shape for that fight. In fact, I swear Hammer was bought in at relatively late notice for the David Price fight. And he didn't seem to have an enormous amount of ambition. Remember, Christian Hammer had lost to David Price in the amateurs. I don't know how much he'd remembered of that, but he did lose to Price in the amateurs. And yeah, he just didn't look coming into that fight as though he was in the best of shape and he didn't look overly ambitious until the fight started to unfold. You know, after a couple of rounds, he thought, you know what? I could probably take this guy. <laughs> and then it developed into the fight it developed into and Price ended up losing. Could we see a similar situation in this fight between Price and Little? I guess we'll find out. But as I say, adding this to any undercard, adding David Price to any undercard in a competitive fight is always going to boost that event as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, maybe low level, but it's entertaining. People want to see big guys throw heavy shots and hit the canvas. That's what people want to see. Not only the casuals, even me, even me, a hardcore boxing fan, I want to see big guys throw big punches and get stretched out. <laughs> it is what it is. So hats off to David Price. Hats off to Tom Little. And by the way, Tom Little, when he's bigging up Eddie Hearn there, he's talking about the fact that he was supposed to fight Bogdan Dinu in Bulgaria on the undercard of Kubrat Pulev versus Huey Fury. But Bogdan Dinu ended up fighting Eddie Hearn's fighter, Jarrell Miller. Someone who's co-promoted by Eddie Hearn. And Tom Little was upset by that. He said it's not the first time Eddie Hearn's done it. But Eddie Hearn reached out to him apparently and said, I'm going to make it right. I'm going to sort you out. And that's why Tom Little's thanking him because he's been sorted out. He's fighting on a big bill at the O2 against David Price. And this is a big opportunity for Tom Little. For a, a, a fighter of his level, of his caliber, fighting someone like David Price, that's a big opportunity. Because although David Price has been knocked out a bunch of times, people know him. <laughs> 
I said before, David Price almost has inherited the mantle of the new Audley Harrison. <laughs> you know, whatever that's worth. So uh, a lot of people made their names off beating Audley Harrison. They certainly gained a lot of notoriety off beating him. You know, they, it certainly didn't. It, it certainly didn't hurt their market value beating Audley Harrison when they beat him. So will Tom Little be the latest to do it? Again, if you look at the pedigree of both fighters, amateur and even professional, to be honest with you, you would say David Price should still be able to beat this man. David Price has beaten people like, what was that guy called that he beat? The bald-headed guy who also fought Chisora. Parler. Yeah, he fought a guy called Parler. That guy actually dropped him. <laughs> but he managed to beat Parler. And, you know, David Price has beaten a few people like Sam Sexton and... That was when Sexton was in his prime, as good as however good Sexton was back then. That was a prime Sam Sexton. Who else has he beat? Tom Dallas, of course. Yeah, beat Tom Dallas. So, does he have a better resume than Tom Little? Probably. Let me know what you guys think of this fight in the comments below. This time I'm out. Join me on Patreon. I upload a minimum of two podcasts every single week covering a wide variety of controversial topics as well as live stream Q&A sessions. Take a look on screen right now at some of the podcasts I've produced so far. For just $3 a month, the equivalent of about £2 a month, you get access to all my new podcasts and my entire back catalogue of past podcasts, including my popular Confessions of a Nightclub Bouncer series. You can listen on your computer or on your smartphone or tablet by downloading the Patreon app from the Google Play Store or the App Store for free. The Patreon app also allows you to download each podcast in MP3. For less than the price of a cup of coffee, you get access to dozens of hours of exclusive content. It's easy to sign up, there's no contract, and you can cancel at any time. So come and join our community of free and critical thinkers by signing up with me here on Patreon today.